Hey guys, what's up? We're pigeon trapping again. So I had to come up and check the traps. I was gonna open the video a little bit sooner when I was still back at the shop, but as normal, I'm running late and didn't get done. But look what we've done. That actually worked. We caught a couple. These do not look like the parents of the birds down there. Just in case, we're probably gonna take the babies along also. Because I, I don't want to don't want to take the chance of that being the mom and dad and leaving the babies unprotected. We got a win. So uh, that's pretty cool. We're going to go ahead and rebait it, get these birds out of here, and take the babies down there, get them back to the loft, and uh, see what else happens today. Well, guys, we're going to take them out, get them, uh, get them all into our porter cage here, and get them home. Got a pretty black here. It was like a black check. But completely full of my food though. Pretty bird. We got two. Well, let's go down and get the, the little ones, make sure that we're not messing up something. So, alright, let's go do that. All right, while we're in here, we're gonna take our squeakers. There's the first one. I can feel that he doesn't have any food in him, so I'm wondering if I didn't catch the parents. Well, I'd say that's a pretty successful day at trapping. We got the birds back here to the farm. Gotta get all the ladies out of the way here. You guys are just a mess. You guys need to get out of here. You guys tipped your water over? Okay, well, we'll fix that here in a little bit. Let's try this again. Here's this blue bar that we trapped. What are you gonna do? You're just gonna chill for a second? You don't know that you're free, do you? Well, you're kind of free. Huh. There he goes. And what I'm hoping, this black check here, hopefully, is its mate. You go hang out over there, apparently. And the two squeakers. Hey, buddy. Hey, you're not very big, are you? Oh, well. You'll figure it out. Don't forget your little brother, buddy. Just squeaking away. That's where the feed goes, bud. It'll focus. I'm hoping that those guys there are paired up and nesting. Or at least getting ready to. I'm not sure what's going on. Haven't been up here watching them too hard, trying to just let them settle in a little bit. We'll let them get, get used to it, get settled in, and I'm pretty sure that they'll, uh, they'll start nesting here before too long. Well, good morning. So I was out this morning scouting for Dove. It's a beautiful morning, and I think I found a field. I'm hoping I can get onto it. As I was getting ready to leave, guess what came to the field? Look at all them pigeons. There's only about half of what actually was here a little bit ago. But this field is stacked with dove too. It, I mean, well, it's not it's not sunflower field stacked, but it it's got a good number. I set a couple spinners out there, and I'm gonna go hang out in some weeds over here and just see how they all decoy. I set the decoys out there. They're only about 20 yards or so. Hey, buddy. Oh, man. <laughs> Look them just land in, in the spinners. Look them just keep on coming in. 
My goodness. Well, hello. Out there, way past the decoys, a bunch of them landed. You can see. Well, that's probably enough drooling for right now, so I'm going to pick this stuff up. There's nothing really hard about dove hunting or pigeon hunting. Uh, find where they're at, get permission, set up a couple spinners, and uh, just sit somewhere where you can kind of hide. You don't even have to. I bet you could sit in the middle of this field on a bucket and they wouldn't even care. All you got to do is get them close enough. It's, it's pretty simple. Well, I know there's at least one that's still around. But let's go up and see what we got. Can hear him talking, but I can't see him. Well, he's here, he's just not in the trap. Obviously not what we were looking for, but you know, got to keep on trying in order to catch something. Let's go home and finish up this video, show you guys what you guys have been waiting for. Before we get into all this, I do want to tell you guys, thank you so much. Because of all you guys and all your support, I have been able to hit my monetization levels, like all the minimum requirements that YouTube requires, and it only took like two months. So thank you guys so much for subscribing and liking and watching these videos. Honestly, I really wasn't sure that it was gonna happen. Um, I've always wanted to do something like this, and because of you guys, I'm gonna try and keep on doing it. You guys have been super, super supportive in the comments, and I really, really just appreciate you guys. Like, thanks so much. Your guys' pen is a mess. You guys are some messy birds. Well, time to grab the shovel and get to get to clean that out a little bit there but we're gonna see if you're sitting on a good egg or a bad egg I'm just coming it leave me alone all pretty and protective I'm not sure if this is Carl or not or you the other one so I went through a bunch of comments again and the name that came up the most that I saw was Mary Mary's got an attitude though so we got Carl and Mary let me whoa Maybe you're Mary. Maybe you're Carl. I don't know. We'll figure it out though. So we have Mary and Carl. And where's Red Foreman? Hey. Whoa, easy. There's old Red Foreman. That's not red. That one's red, obviously. We also have this Grizz Hen here who's going to need a name. Along with her mate. Who is up here? And we're gonna check their eggs too to see if they're if they're any good. Can we see them? Can you get the eggs? Yeah. Getting all fluffy on me. And then we'll have all the Modinas names. So all the OG Modinas anyway. Hopefully we'll have some little ugly baby Modinas here in a little bit. Let's go ahead, check out the, the upstairs loft, see how they're doing, and uh, then we'll get on with it. I'm gonna take some feed up there with me, but this here is grit. I don't remember where I got it, but it pretty much looks like crushed granite or something. And then I've got, it's it's nothing special feed that I'm giving them. There's some whole corn, whole wheat, whole milo, and then I have a protein pellet in there also. All right, take this up. Well, we're up here in the feral city slash barn loft. Most everyone just sort of hangs out up there. When you're not looking, there's a bunch of them that'll set on top of this, uh, this plank down here. I'm not sure who all is making friends and who's making enemies, but there's a lot of the males that are chasing everyone around. Here's one of the squeakers that we brought home the other day. He's not sure what to think. I think that somebody has made a nest. I'm not positive, but there's been a pair that hang out. It might be those two, I'm not sure. But there's a pair that have been hanging out by that nest up there. 
an awful lot chasing other birds around that get close to it. They don't seem to like the milo or the pellets. I'm not going to fill it completely up because I want them to clean up everything that's here and not just pick out the stuff they like. But the little ones seem to be doing a job, good job of cleaning up all that. So I'm going to put a little bit down here for the babies. Or the baby. It's getting close to the bottom of the bucket so there's a little bit more dirt and dust in it than what I like. Hopefully we'll be able to start getting a few of babies going from this loft up here because I'd really like to see it start producing. Alright, let's get everybody in here fed. Who wants to pick through and get the best stuff first? Here Red, I know you're down for that. Get it Carl. I'm pretty sure that's Carl. Ooh, oh, you're picking out the wheat. <laughs> I know you guys want some, come on. No, come down here. What are you guys picking out? Alright, we're going to check Carl and Mary's egg here. And all I've done is I've taken my plain old iPhone and I turned the light on. And I put it in a darker corner over here. Alright, please, no, please be nice. Yeah, I, I understand. Yeah. Alright, so I've got the egg. Somebody broke it. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a crack in it right there. So I'm guessing this one's not going to hatch. I don't like that. You see how that lights up half? That means it's fertile, or at least it was, and it was growing. So maybe, maybe it'll make it. Boy, Mary is a good protective mama. Next time, lay more eggs. Please? You're up next, buddy. Oh! Yeah, yeah. Ow, 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 ow! Jeez, man! Alright, this one feels heavy. Ooh. Hopefully you guys can see that. Good ring there. That one, there's a fertile egg. Alright, buddy. Do not make me drop this. Ow! Good grief, dude. Oop, there's another one. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's some veins that you can actually see through the shell. That dark spot over here by my thumb, down here, is actually the baby pigeon inside. Yeah, cool. Now if I can put this back without breaking it. Oh. Way to be protective, but man, you gotta beat me up the whole time. So at least we know all the eggs at least were fertile. We, we do know that Carl and Mary do have a cracked egg, so I'm, I'm hoping that it hatches. I haven't had very good luck with cracked eggs before. They really tend to not do it well. So being right inside the door, I was afraid that it was gonna happen because she actually moves it around a whole lot. She'll sit here, and then all of a sudden she'll be over here, and then over here, and then back in the corner. With everything that's going on right by the door, I was afraid that it was going to get cracked or something like that. But we'll see. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it won't. Anyway, thanks for everything. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you on the next one.